Andrea alert. Nicole, I'm going to say something that's going to shock you to open up oh. this segment. I think I have been officially convinced, and I think Andretti should be a team in F1. This is crazy. I never thought the day would come where Brianna would say those words, at least for the uh, this quickly. But yes. um, been lots of serious demonstration of, and again, there's a lot of Valid. other things about why we were a little bit more like eh about this edition. But wait, like uh, to catch everyone up quickly, we've it's not that we've been anti Andretti. We have just consistently been anti another non-competitive team adding any value. We anti-11 like, teams. Anti-11, anti... I Right now, we don't have 11 teams. In my brain, we have three and a half teams. Because I think in modern F1, you can only be competitive and win a championship if you are an engine manufacturer as well. So like the reason that is, is because... So Mercedes makes Mercedes engines and the Mercedes car. McLaren takes the Mercedes engine and makes the McLaren car. And Mercedes gets to design the perfect engine for their car. McLaren has to take whatever Mercedes does and just make it work, which is means that unless you are making your own engine in modern F1, I do not believe that you can win a championship barring 7 million other, like, you know, there's, there's going to be some circumstance anomaly at some point that's going to be like, except for that one year in like 20 except years. Except for that one year, happens. just so that Brianna's point can't, be official like <laughs> always and again modern f1 this is my belief in like the modern way f1 is built so we have three teams and i always say three and a half because technically alpine could be competitive but alpine refuses to like get its act together right so my whole point was always that andretti joining and just buying alpine engines just means that best case scenario we have another like mclaren on the grid and as like entertaining as McLaren is, like marketing wise, like they aren't going to be the ones competing with Red Bull because they don't make their own engines. So it's just not, I don't and need like, more people circling around the back. All of that being said, if Andretti, oh, and Cadillac was part of that announcement, but then weren't gonna make their own engines and we haven't heard from them since. So I don't believe it. I will believe it when I hear a follow up. So there you go. That, that is like why I have always believed and it has nothing to do with Andretti. It's just, I don't need more customer teams to like drive around in the back of the grid. But if Andretti, as it was announced this week, is planning on also operating F2 and F3 teams, meaning that the value of their team could not only be have a team in F1, but sending, they specifically said they want to send more Americans through the feeder system and then have more young drivers be able to get into F1. I can buy into that as a value. Will you be fast and competing for race wins and championships? No, but I can buy into the value of you being there, being to develop young drivers. Access, 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 starts the access chat. Now you put a female <laughs> driver in your series and that's, forget it. Andretti, yeah. I'll start wearing your merch like tomorrow. <laughs> but it it's a strong demonstration of not just, I mean, the entire investment overall and in that whole brand. And I think it really reinforces that Andretti global rebranding. And it seems like it makes so much more sense now and can really make the sport better. Still would love for it not to be any sort of customer team scenario type stuff, but that access... That like really reiterating and like reinforcing that fact, I think could make the really big difference. So it will be interesting to see how this new involvement for Andretti at lower levels um, could affect, you know, future bids and just reapplications like that. And before you leave that comment, because you haven't listened to us do an, an Andretti alert in the past, I feel the same way about the other seven teams on the grid that are not Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari. The only reason I give Aston Martin a pass is because they're now going to be Honda. That's it. I, I give everyone the same crap that I'm giving Andretti here. It has nothing to do with Andretti in particular. Like, that's always my issue with talking about this. It's like, I think it would be cool to have an Andretti team. Yeah, that would be, and it, it would mean a lot of having like that historic family in F1 in some like right. way and capacity. And there's ways to do it. It's just the value, the, I mean, to every single one of your points, it logically is there. Like, it's just not, couldn't necessarily be creating more value just to throw another team there. But with when everything you're coming in with like this, yeah, I can definitely see it. Now, the other thing that came out this week is 
and by came out, I mean like it was a big announcement. Sky Sports was at the location. Andretti officially opened. It's like a giant Silverstone factory. I, I've just, my only thought through all of this is that I'm loving that F1 said no to Andretti and that they, they just keep moving like they said yes. We're gonna like, do it anyway. We're keeping we're it going. Keep it rolling. All, we're gonna roll it back, yeah. you guys. We tried. We're gonna do it again. They can't. <laughs> it's it, they're really like faking it till you making it. And it's like if you just keep going, and then right. you know they're we know you're gonna, gonna say yes eventually. eventually come so. real. We're just gonna be here whenever you think we're ready. It's like hey, re- re- right. you got it. Us. It would be yeah. interesting if they, no matter what, in the next because I think the plan was 2025. Entry to F1 is what mm. they wanted. So it'd be interesting if they just enter F2 and F3 no matter what. Mm-hmm. And but... then maybe it's like a big, ooh, 2026. Who? Yeah. We'll see. Time will tell. We'll it lining up very interesting to see if Andretti uh, will join. So I think part of the conversation here before we wrap this up that it's worth poking into is, you know, we've gotten reckless speculation, rumors about Alpine wanting to sell but if they were gonna sell the rumor is like you would have they would want to still develop engines for it but they like don't want to operate the team anymore um i'm still banging down the door that like it's stupid that red bull has two teams so like please Mm -hmm. sell the second team like i think there are other ways for andretti to get on the grid and there's still to still be 10 teams right like do you think that do you think that's more likely or do you think it's more likely that F1 says, all right, fine, we'll have an 11th team in the next what three think, years? <laughs> what I think is more logical is the purchasing of a team that already exists. What I think will end up happening, an 11th team will be added to the grid. <laughs> yeah. And this is the story that both will never end and keeps on giving. <laughs> I just... Yeah. Because I can't see... I don't... I can't see Red Bull ever fully selling, at least right now... RB Jr. I think they like having this little sister thing that they can just take up a spot on. And I also we just only feel need like it, to compete with eight teams, not <laughs> nine. <laughs> right. And we can just sign a bunch of reserve drivers basically on a whole other team. And then at least if we just want to be looking at like the current state of Alpine right now, just for, you know, this is when we're all discussing. I would not want, I mean, and also I guess you want to look previously would not want Alpine developing any sort of engine to go into my team's vehicle. And that's kind of what I'm then stuck with. So on the Andretti side, that doesn't necessarily seem like it would be their best option right now, besides them just being able to get on the grid, but then they're stuck with whatever the heck that's going to be. I do think that we're going to end up with Andretti on the grid in the next couple of years. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether it's an 11 team situation or they buy a team like who knows I do think we're going to end up with them though but I think like this always does it all goes back to the fact that F1 and the FIA don't get along right now at all and Andretti was stupid and decided their way to get on the grid was to partner with the FIA so Andretti this could have been dealt with ages ago if you worked with FOM instead so I Oops. I don't know I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is your own doing. <laughs> but I'm now Team Andretti. So you got me there. It took a year and a half of Gridwalk episodes, but... We're here. Didn't not Also not on my 2024 bingo card. No. Yeah. Let them onto the grid. Thank you for watching this highlight from an episode of Gridwalk. Subscribe for weekly Formula One content. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video to make Nicole and Brianna extra happy. And click the link to listen to the full episode. We will be back to walk the Formula One grid every Thursday. See you then.